In this video, we'll demonstrate how to add a Facebook box to your simple site. To do so, you will need two things, access to your simple site and access to your Facebook page. In this demonstration, we will use the DCN Facebook page as an example. Let's start with the simple site. The first thing you will need to do is to log in either by using the link here or add slash edit to the end of your web address. To save time, I'm going to skip the login steps. If you need help, please take a look at the video that talks about logging in and logging out. What you're looking at is the edit mode of the simple site. You can tell when you see a green box in the center with options to add contents and edit the website. If you already have multiple items on the navigation panel, make sure you're on the home page and have selected the Edit tab. From the row of options near the top, select Admin. Scroll down to almost the bottom and you will be able to see Facebook page ID. The description says specify a Facebook page ID to get a fan box for that Facebook page in the left column of your home page. So where do you find the Facebook page ID? Let's take a look at the example we have here. This is the DCN Facebook page and I'm logged in as one of the administrators. Usually you can find your Facebook page ID at the end of your web address. After the equal sign, there's a series of numbers and that will be your Facebook page ID. However, if you have acquired a custom name as in the case of DCN.org, it won't be displayed there. What you can do is go to your admin panel and find your Facebook page ID there. Above the cover photo of your Facebook page, there is an admin panel. If you cannot find it there, it's because it's hidden. But instead, you should be able to see an admin panel button. Click on it and it will display the admin panel. Click on Manage and then select Edit Page. And then you will see at the end of the web address after the equal sign a series of numbers. If you're using a PC, highlight it. Then use the combined keys of Ctrl and C to copy it. Now let's go back to the simple site and paste it in. And then save it. And there you can see the Facebook page box display in the left column of your home page. The first section of the box includes a link where people can subscribe to your page. The second section is streaming of your updates like this here. And the bottom section includes examples of people who have subscribed to your Facebook page. To see what it appears to the public, you can log out now. But oftentimes, I find it more convenient to open a different browser where I'm not logged in so that I can check what it looks like to the public. This is the browser where I'm not logged in. If you don't see the Facebook box yet, all you have to do is refresh your browser with the combined keys of Control and F5 if you're using a PC. There you can see the Facebook box now. Next, I will show you what it looks like to the public if you have styled your simple site with cascading style sheet. As you can see in this example, the color scheme follows that of your style sheet and blends nicely with the rest of your website. This video has been brought to you by DCN, the Davis Community Network.